Hey guys, this is Brian over at Koblo Tech Support, and today I'm going to show you how to upload a uh, Koblo Studio project to Koblo.com and uh, distribute your remix kits using Koblo.com. I have here the remix kit for a song called Awake by one of my favorite bands, Mankind is Obsolete. They've been kind enough to allow me to use their remix kits and put them into the Koblo Studio format and upload them to Koblo.com. So, I have imported the stems for uh, each of the different tracks in this song into Koblo Studio, and I've moved them onto my track view. I've named each of my tracks so I can keep track of things, and uh, I can listen to what I've got now. Is this all there is? There's nothing to see. A world that has so much but me. So you can see right there, I have all the different stems for this song. And uh, so now I'm pretty much ready to distribute this as a remix kit because each of these stems can be used uh, in differing uh, ways of remixing. And uh, so what I'm going to do in order to share this uh, project through the internet is I'm going to go to File. I'm going to click on Export for Web. And the Export for Web dialog is going to pop up and I can enter some information about uh, my band here. Uh, at the top I've got the URL for my band's website, although in this case it's not my band, obviously. Uh, I can enter the name of my band. And then uh, the last big step is to choose a Creative Commons license. And if you don't know about Creative Commons, you can read about it from our, uh, our website or creativecommons.org. Uh, but Creative Commons is essentially a alternative to traditional copywriting. And uh, it's got varying degrees of restrictions, um, anywhere starting from attribution, which is the least restrictive, lets people remix and distribute and tweak your work, even, even sell it, as long as they make sure that they credit you as the original creator. Uh, this goes up to the most restrictive, which is attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, um, which is kind of like free advertising, it means you can't resell the remixes and things like that. Um, to start with right now, I'm just going to go with attribution, non-commercial, and all derivatives. You can choose whichever license you like. You can also choose to uh, make a new, or, or rather change that license later on down the road. Uh, so this isn't, this isn't too restrictive to start with. After I've done that, I can choose the compression ratio that I want to use. Um, in this case, I want to keep the quality pretty pretty high um, with this remix kit, and um, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the, uh, the the extreme, and I'm going to click on export, and the Koblo Studio is going to ask me where I would like to save this project um, as an exported project. I, I've got it all set here. I've got a name for it. So I'm going to go ahead and just click Save and the Kobo Studio is going to compress these files, uh, make them a little more manageable, and give me a project that I can upload to Koblo.com. Okay, so I've now used the Koblo Studio to make my Awake Remix Kit and the Koblo Studio has taken the files in my Remix Kit and um, and made them a more manageable size uh, for web sharing. In this case, here's the original uh, folder with all of the stems from the Awake Remix Kit. They're all in WAV format, and their total size is 353 megabytes. Here is the Kobo Studio project, and uh, the Kobo Studio project size is 63 megabytes. So you can see that's a lot more manageable, um, and I managed to keep the fidelity of the audio at the same time. So I've made a zip uh, file now of my Koblo Studio project, my exported Koblo Studio project, the one I exported for the web. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this project to Koblo.com and make uh, a project for it on my Koblo.com account. Alright, so now the next step is to make a project for uh, this remix kit on my Koblo account. I'm logged into the Mankind is Obsolete account here and uh, I'm going to click under Dashboard. I'm going to click on Add Project. And the first thing that I do is upload the zipped Koblo Studio file uh, which I already have 
ready to go right here. And I just select that, hit upload, and I'm going to start uploading that. All right, so now that I've finished uploading the project, I'm going to specify the settings for the project, and I can give it a name. I can also just give it a description. I'm going to make that the same as the name for right now. Give it some tags. And then I'm going to attribute it to a band. Attribute it to Mankind is Obsolete. And now I can upload an audio preview as well. This, this audio preview will give anyone who wants to download my remix kit an idea of what it is that they're going to be downloading. So I'm going to show you real quickly how you can use the Kobo Studio to make an audio preview for this purpose. So we're going to go back to the Kobo Studio real quick. And let's use the vocal stem to make a, uh, a little preview real quickly. I'm going to take the wave selection tool and I'm just going to go ahead and select a piece of the vocals and I can play that real quick. Wake up, stop pretending this day's beginning and ending. All right, so that's pretty good and that's a little snippet of time that I can use. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to file. I'm going to click on export. I'm going to do selection and export only the selection that I have picked out here. And I'll go ahead and just leave this at good compression. It doesn't need to be too great. And I'm going to click on export. And now I'm going to go ahead and save this to uh, my hard drive. And I'll just leave it as vocal selection. And it will be an MP3. And I'm going to hit save. And after that clip has been exported, I can go back to my Kobo Studio project page. And in the audio preview, I can select the preview that I just made. Then I can attribute an image to this as well. And then I can also set the license again for this project. And again, I'm going to use the no derivatives, non-commercial attribution license. Check out all my settings, make sure everything is good, and I'm going to go ahead and save it. And there you go. Now I have uploaded this project. I'm presented with the project's web page. And uh, I can click on the big play button and hear the sample of the song that I've uploaded. Wake up, stop pretending. This day's beginning and ending. No more blank illusions. Your dark dream, throw it away. And there you go. And uh, I can also, using the commerce functions of Koblo.com, I can sell this project if I would like. Uh, I can click on the commerce settings. I can set a price for that uh, project. And then I can pick uh, who would be able to receive the money from the sales of this project. In this case, I still need to set up a uh, Koblo Commerce account for Mankind is Obsolete, so the only merchant I can choose to receive the uh, money uh, from sales of this Remix kit is Koblo. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and just leave this blank for right now, but uh, that is an option if you want to go ahead and sell your Remix kits. Uh, I can also set up a Remix widget uh, for this project as well that, will, that can be embedded onto web pages. I can add tracks from this, um, this Remix kit into this, uh, this widget and <clears throat> embed it on my web pages and uh, things of that like, and then people can use it to uh, interactively remix this song on the internet uh, via the widget. Uh, so there you go. That's pretty much it. Um, it. It's a rather simple process, as you can see. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free, of course, to email us at support at koblo.com and we look forward to seeing more of your projects as we go along. Is this all there is? There's nothing to see.